Hey guys, Lars from TC here, and we're here with the with the awesome Lari Basilio. Thank you for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. Well, it's a pleasure. We're looking at the brainwaves today, um, and you've never seen this before, so first we're just, time. first time, yeah. yeah. So, do you use a pitch shifter recurrently in some of your stuff? Yeah, not not that often, but mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I like to to like play around some octaves and mm -hmm. yeah, have some fun with yeah. it, with it. Right now, we've been talking about. Uh, Using the octaves on yeah. like one and one and above and one below. Mm -hmm. We also have a you know we have a specific um, sub and up pedal that we call like an octave pedal. Uh -huh. But this adds some other options as well in yeah. the same small package. So I think that's that's fun. Yeah, it's perfect. I love the mash button that you can yeah. like add something unexpected. Yes, exactly. To the sound. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. cool. Yeah, it has so many options. It is fun for yeah. sure. Yeah, good. Let's see. I tried to do a little bit of. Um, when we do the mesh, it just sort of goes a little bit out of tune, so it adds a little bit of detune to the octaves, but I don't know that, how that'll sound, so if uh -huh. you try playing... Uh, it just sounds like it's out of tune. Yeah, yeah. But we could we could take it back, so it goes back to a detune, so we go away from the octaves, uh -huh. and then go down to it, just... That would be Yeah, we, maybe we could weird. do like... Listen, just go to, up like more... Or, or go, go higher. up even yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could also do that. So would, would you want it to go like an additional yeah. octave? Or like, uh, yeah, we could try. Let's see, like very, um, very high. Like some more thing, you know? Um, <laughs> like more... Yeah, more of everything. Yeah. Cool, yeah. That low octave is that doing? Let me just uh, see. If it... Yeah. Or, no, that's going up to unison, isn't it? If I go. Let me just see if I go. Yeah, now it's going down. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, I like the first option. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Where it goes. Yeah. But that, that sub octave, that really low octave. Sounds better yeah. when you're up high. Yeah. When you get down in the low parts, it it sounds mushy. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. It kind of disappears a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's so low. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Cool. And you don't want any like um, delays, or you want the voices to be yeah. right in time. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Right now, when I'm when I'm um, pushing down on this, it goes immediate. But if I add like um, Let's just try to show you. If I add um, bend time, which then you get a, it a bends bit, slower. Yeah. Like, um, I let, me, let me just try to overdo it a little bit. This is 200 milliseconds. It can do many milliseconds. But, oh. Yeah, I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. Is it too slow? No, I think that's perfect. So it's not as... It doesn't sound sort of as, as aggressive if you push down on it. Yeah, mm. so cool. Even though it's a pitch setting, mm -hmm. because of this, you're adding a whammy effect as well. Okay. Um, to yeah, the, yeah. totally. So it yeah. has I love both it. a pitch, yeah. pitch shift and a whammy. It's nice. So right now you have your settings. Um, mm -hmm. the voice one goes up and voice two goes down. Cool. So if the user, if anyone downloads this tone print, Mm -hmm. They can get your tone by going to the custom settings. Oh, okay. But the thing is, if these are set in the wrong direction, mm -hmm. it'll probably sound... Okay. Let's say if we set it in the total opposite direction. The, to begin with, it sounds correct. Yeah. But then when you mash, uh, it goes back to unison instead. I so they move, they move in the wrong mm -hmm. direction. So we'll just have to sort of... A right that voice one is an up octave and voice two is down. Interesting, yeah. But but I mean, it's still your tone print. They're just yeah. using it in a. They could just use it in a creative way if both of them are set up. Uh huh. Ah. It's just a different use, right? Cool. Because then both are octave one, one octave up. Uh huh. But then when you mash, you move away from that one octave. Yeah. And go, so I mean, it doesn't matter. It'll just be something else. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, they yeah. still have a lot of options. Exactly. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. A tone print like this, how would you use that in your in your music? Yeah, um, yeah, I'd love to put like some groove. Yeah. Yeah, I love to do like groovy stuff and 
funky yeah. uh, guitar. Yeah. So yeah, that definitely would be very useful for me in this stuff. Cool. Yeah, for cool. sure. Very great. Do you have an idea about what you would call this? Um, let's see. Like, I'm right. so I'm so bad for names. <laughs> well, you could uh, use a beautiful name that no one could pronounce if they're not from <laughs> Brazil. You know. LB Groove, maybe? Cool. Is, that, is that cool? Is That's that... cool. Is that what it sounds like? You know, it sounds like a funky <laughs> place. <laughs> cool. funky.